Hello everyone, welcome to another Easy Excel tutorial part of EasyProgramming.net. Today I want to show you something fairly complex but also very simple once you get the hang of it. This is drop down list in Excel, also known as data validation. Most people would call this idiot proofing because it decreases the chance that people will make mistakes. Uh, because let's face it, people make lots of mistakes. We are after all humans. So let's say you're working with state and you want the person filling out this spreadsheet to only choose between one of these 12 states that I've chosen or whatever you have chosen. And you don't want them to choose something like Hawaii. You can use data validation drop down list to make sure that they only have the option to choose one of these 12 states. So if they make a mistake, it won't be catastrophic. You know, it'll, they'll be only be able to choose one of these. So even if they choose New Jersey instead of New York, you can quickly fix it and it'll be in the same format. But anyway, let's get started with this. I have a mini chart here that has player 1 to player 5 and four categories here, age, gender, state, and US citizen. It's pretty much asking a question. And on this side I have I have things that will be validated against whatever is put here. So it the Excel will look at what the user is inputting here and validate them based on what's here. They're on the same spreadsheet now, but you can have them in different spreadsheets. It doesn't matter. But anyway, let's do age player one. Uh, let's go to data tab again. We were here on uh, text to columns not too long ago, but this time we're going to be in data validation here. You can either click on the top portion. It's a double button. You can either click on the top or click on data validation, the drop down, and click on data validation here. You will see a data validation pop up. You know, it says validation criteria, any value. We will change that to list. As you can see, there are other forms of data validation as well, and I will go over them in a later tutorial. So we'll do list because we are looking at drop down lists. And automatically, you see here it says a checkbox appears. It says in cell drop down, and that's what we want. So we have age selected here, and in the source, we want to select our the the, the valid data that we want the users to use. So we have you know, for, we'll go from age 0 to 9 all the way to 80 plus, so it automatically selects age 5 to age 13. Uh, if you remember from my referencing tutorials, this is using absolute referencing, so that it, it's always age 5 to age 13. It doesn't, it's not relative to any cell. So let's click OK, and voila, a drop-down list appears here. And this is all you can pick. So I pick 60 to 69. Let's say I want to choose a number myself. Let's do 50, right? Just for fun. You get an error. It says the value you entered is not valid. A user has restricted values that can be entered into this cell. Click retry. You know, you can't do anything. So you have to press cancel. And it goes back to default value, whatever it is. Great. Great. Now let's use autofill. Um, the reason, actually, let me explain why I deleted one of the values. Let's do 30 to 39. Uh, the reason I deleted this value before I autofilled is because if I autofill, it actually messes up some of the numbers. As you can see in the preview there, it says 30, 41, 30, 42, 30, 43. It actually copies the values over and Excel counts them. And these are all wrong values, and that's not what we want. So I'm going to undo. I'm control Z or press the button here. I'm going to remove this. And now I will copy it over. I will autofill this over. Now, all of these have drop down lists. I only have to do the data validation once for that cell, right? So I have you know, 30 to 39, 20 to 29, 10 to 19, and then let's make this you know, 80, and let's do 50 to 59. There we go. There we go. These are all validated, and these are all validating against these numbers. Easy, right? So let's do gender. It should be just as simple. This time I'll just click on this. Do the list. We only have two, so male and female. Press OK, and there you go, drop down list. Let's do autofill across. And there you go, male, female, male, female, etc. Let's just quickly fill these in. Whoops. Cancel. Try to improperly click and drag. So anyway, state, right? And US citizen. We'll just do these two and then we'll autofill across. Okay? State. Again, data validation. List. 
we're picking just these two, these four, these excuse me, these twelve states. Press OK. U.S. citizen. Let's do data validation. List. U.S. citizen. Are you a citizen or no? And then we will do you know no. Whoops. Remember, get rid of this. Let's do autofill. I'm selecting both of them. Now I'm gonna have to do these once. Now this is a state, and this is yes or no. Yeah. I'm not gonna do all of them. Let's just pick one or two. Florida, yes. So there you go. That's all there is to data validation. You just need data to validate against, and just know how to do the data validation. Fill out here. You know any value there. More data validation, and that's pretty much it. And like I said before, you can have these numbers in any spreadsheet. It doesn't have to be in the same spreadsheet. Um, let's do a quick one. Let's do age. I'm just going to copy this over to another spreadsheet. There you go. We'll zoom in a little bit. There we go. Uh, let's do you know age. You know extra age, right? So we'll do we'll do the data validation against that spreadsheet against that other workbook. So data validation. List. Source. We can now go into the se second spreadsheet. And as you can see, the source changes to spreadsheet 2 with an exclamation point saying, this is where we want to be. And there you go. It uses absolute referencing. So it'll always reference to this. And there you go. Drop down list. And it's exactly the same thing. So you can have all of these data in a separate spreadsheet hidden somewhere so that people filling out your drop down list don't know what they're validating again so they don't have an idea or you know they will once they click on the drop down list but they won't see where the data is uh, data validation is, is extremely useful again like I said it's it, idiot proofs many things um, I will post this tutorial on easyprogramming.net uh, unfortunately since we're not working with any formulas you won't see the formulas you'll just see the drop down list uh, but feel free to look at it. Uh, I will have the second spreadsheet here as well. Uh, I'm just going to save that. Uh, well, as always, you know, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Uh, remember to visit my website at easyprogramming.net if you haven't already. If you have any questions about data validations or any other tutorial that I've made so far, feel free to ask. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you for watching.